Hi everyone, my name is Juan and today we're going to be talking about constructors. Constructors are basically functions that will run whenever we create a class object and so usually we'll want to use them to initialize some variables or just do some other things. And for this problem today I wanted to create a class um, to represent a dog, have some attributes for it, have some constructors, and then maybe a print to print out all the stuff about it. So. Let's get right into it. So if we want to create a class for dog, I think we go like this. And then we'll just do all the regular stuff for a class. So for private, we'll have maybe like a string name, string breed, um, int age, and then maybe a double weight. The reason we're doing this um, m underscore naming type is because it, it'll become more apparent when we're working with a constructor. So here we could start off with creating dog one, dog two. So we see everything's working fine. We could compile it, but nothing would really happen. Um, and so now let's get into right into the constructor. So let's write a constructor that will take in four variables and then it'll set it equal to the object's private variables. So in order to do that, we can do this. So here we have a constructor that will take in four variables and then essentially we'll have these variables be set equal to the private variables and so they'll be saved into the object itself and so notice right now that these two um, objects we created have a little um, squiggly error and that's because it's expecting now this constructor it's expecting we pass in four things so here we could do something like for the name we could say like coco for generic dog name um, the breed we could say like chihuahua and then the age three and the weight like a 2.5 you can just say it's pounds or something and so see now this one has no squiggly line but this one doesn't so what if we wanted to create a dog with like no attributes we just didn't want to initialize it that's when we can actually create and another constructor so we can have two constructors and depending on what you pass in it'll run either um, one so now we see that the error is gone so it'll run this one and then the second one will run this one Oops. okay and so now let's just finish up writing the parameter one so we can say m underscore name is equal to name and this is where the m underscore kind of comes into play where um, we can differentiate between like what we're passing in and what we're setting equal to. So m underscore breed is equal to breed. m underscore age is equal to age. And then weight is equal to weight. And so that'll do that. And so if we're going to pass in nothing, we can also just have it say, we like set them equal to empty like values, initialize them to empty. So we can just say m underscore age is equal to zero, weight is equal to zero. So here we have two basic constructors, both initialize um, our objects appropriately. And so if we were to run this right now, we wouldn't really see much because you know it's just initializing the variables. So let's write a quick print function where we can actually um, use, we can actually do a check to see if the name is empty. And if we know that it's empty, we know that the rest of it is empty. So we could just display a message appropriate to it being empty. And if it's not empty, we can display everything else, right? So to do that, we can do m underscore name equals blank. We can say something like, um, we don't know much about this dog. It exists, but doesn't at the same time. And so there we go. 
And so if we were to run the print function on here, it'll run this if statement. But then we can write an else. If we do have stuff to print out, we can say the basic stuff to say. So name of the dog is, and then m underscore name. And they are a uh, And then say something like, they are um, age years old, and they weigh they weigh like whatever pounds. There you go. So now let's call these print functions on these and say something like dog one dot print then dog two dot print. Okay. And let's see, make sure everything works. Oops, there's a little error. M underscore wait. Oh. This one needs those. Okay, my bad. And so the output is a bit all over the place. So if we wanted to, I can just say so quick um, printing first dog. And then just copy that real quick. And then second dog. And so run it. So say printing first dog, we don't know much about this dog, it exists but doesn't at the same time. And then printing second dog, and then we get all the information here. So now we can see um, how we can use constructors to initialize the variables for a class. And I hope all of this was helpful. Um, have a good day and goodbye.